Violet and I were old friends. After a couple of hours aloft, you had luncheon. And I think you'll agree with me that the meal compared very favorably with that served by a good restaurant anywhere. When a plane lands, one of the first things we do is to remove the used service and put in the fresh service, whether it be another meal, a snack, or simply a beverage. Well, sir, with your meal over, you had a chance to look at the scenery. It's pretty spectacular on that Los Angeles to Kansas City run, particularly the Grand Canyon of the Colorado. You know, this letter worries me a little. Are you getting enough behind the scenes stuff? I'll try to put down some inside information. Now, let's see. Did you know it takes the company several years to train a captain or co-pilot? A year or more for other crew members? And that brings up another story, the training story. In Kansas City, we run a regular school for captains, first officers, and flight engineers. We not only teach new personnel how to fly for us, but keep our old employees abreast of new developments that are always popping up in aviation. One of the things that makes our business kind of fascinating. We take three physical examinations a year, two government, one company. And this constant checking up goes for training, too. Once you get started, it never stops. Every six months, we get an instrument check, blind flying. And there are regular line checks. Our pilots have logged a million hours, but these standards are never relaxed. Now for our crew, the crew that picks you up at Kansas City, all fresh and rested, ready for the trip to New York. I'm captain, 18,000 hours flying with the line been flying since 1933. There's my co-pilot. The flight engineer. A lot of people get very busy all at once when a big ship comes in. I've seen it a thousand times, I suppose, but never get tired of watching it. Every man concerned has an important job to do, and it all contributes to the speed, comfort, and safety of your flight. Meanwhile, our flight engineer checked over the airplane. This is standard procedure. First, because he's trained to do the job. Second, because it's good practice to have it done by a man who's going to ride the airplane. These fellows are like doctors. They know where to look. And this checkup takes place every time one of our planes gets ready for departure. Our plane had just finished 1,300 flying hours. It would have been brought to this overhaul base and had all four engines replaced. Every 10,000 hours, we just about take the whole ship apart and rebuild her. I wish you and all the other people who fly regularly could see this operation because it typifies the kind of attention a scheduled airline like ours gives its airplanes. First thing we do to a plane when she comes in 
is to remove her engines and tear them down piece by piece. Each of the thousands of parts is then given an eight-hour cleaning in a chemical wash. Next, each part is put through a magnetic analysis to find any hidden faults in the metal. Then hand inspected against rigid tolerances. Some of the parts are okay, good as new. Others may require reconditioning in our shops, and still others may be replaced. Assembled, however, every part measures up. It's really like a new engine. After a thorough check by a trained inspector, the newly assembled engine is run for six hours on a test stand. Interiors are entirely renovated in our upholstery shop. They also replace any fabric covered surfaces that need attention. Meanwhile, our sheet metal shop handles any work on the skin and fuel tanks of the ship. The base tests the airplane's radio equipment, every bit of it. It also rips out her entire electrical system and rebuilds it. Her instruments get a ride on an oscillating test machine which goes through the most severe maneuvers an airplane could be subjected to. We repolish and inspect the propellers, too. Every 3,000 hours, we get a new set. The balance of these blades is so perfect that, believe it or not, the weight of a paper matchbox will make them revolve. Continuing maintenance means that a job like this, an operation which takes 4,500 man hours, can be done in six days. Last thing we do is weigh the ship. Our planes must stay within one half of one percent of their original weight. Well, it's nice to know that you've got that kind of a plane under you. Now to continue with your flight. Kansas City Ground Control, CWA Flight 2. Request taxi clearance, IFR New York. TWA, flight two, runway one seven, winds south, variable five to ten, north on taxi strip. You remember we taxied past the tower. These boys are the traffic cops of the airport. Working with air route traffic control, they clear my flight plan and keep checking my progress all along the line. We move down to the warm-up block. I suppose you've wondered why there's always a delay before takeoff. Well, here's what's going on up front. 